So I wonder what store this used to be. Mind that Watch your head. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, some furniture. All the shelves for the store, I guess. Yeah. Look at the detail on some of these. What, the furniture? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know a great deal about this town, really. There's not an awful lot in the history books. Just that it was established a mile down the road yeah. and relocated here in 1907 because there was already a church here, which is the church that's just across the way. Oh, it's that the old typewriter. Oh, yeah. That old fridge, too. Water eater. It's always kind of spooky when you hear the the wind. Yeah. Look at all of and the extra wood. wasps nests in oh, the fridge. Wow. <laughs> oh, would you take a look at this? The well. It's a well. I wonder how many animals or pe have gone down there and can't get out. Jeez, I don't see the bottom. <laughs> This is a nice screened-in porch on the back. Well, I guess they lived. Would they have lived? Kelvinator. They normally lived in the shop, didn't they, in those days? Yeah, I thought most of the time it was upstairs. This doesn't have but an upstairs. But it doesn't have an upstairs. I guess maybe the back of the house could be. And that's it. All right. Go in the uh, this door. Is that a bird's nest that's fallen down? Bird or rat's nest, yeah. Somebody looks like they've tried to have a fire in here on the floor. Yeah. All right, what's next? Well, let's take a look at the old school. So this is the Sanko Robot. Without it's one a of head. those quirky roadside attractions. The head got vandalised and stolen a few years ago. Fun pick. Another fun pick. All right. School. School. Now, I'm not sure when this school was closed. The drought ended the production of cotton, um, plus they had a terrible infestation of boil weevil. So I don't know when this was built. Uh, there's no date anywhere. No, I couldn't find anything about it online either. So lockers, I'm taking it? I would say so. Those are nice, actually. Yeah, just mind the floor. Yeah, the floor is not so good. Ooh, this one's really nasty. In fact, I'm not even going to go in there. No. There's a bunch of stuff in here, though. A lot I know, of, I'd love to go through it. Yeah, the furniture, there's clothes. Well, they had a, a big issue with vandalism in this place. In this area, I mean, somebody set fire to the, the old yeah, school. Yeah, you can see that the fire marks there. And then you had the head off the robot. Yeah. Again, but what's cool about these little the old style, the large windows. Is that a cloak? Looks like the... Was that the other that side? That goes out to the hallway? I don't no. know. Clo I guess a little closet then? Oh man, these rooms are just trashed, the floor. I know. It's really sad, isn't it? Yeah, so again, similar, same style. And it's funny, it's breaking at the same spots. Or subsiding. Yeah. Old stage up there. So I wonder if this was like their assembly hall. Could have been. And then they just had the two classrooms. I mean, it can't be a very big, um, you know, a, it wasn't a large school, it wasn't a large population in town. Right. 
So, yeah, maybe assembly hall and two classrooms. Well, look how many lockers there were. I know, that's, and it's on both sides, so. Oh, oh. Can I get a date? Maybe on the... No. It's just like a, an advertising little magazine. Yeah. No. So no date. But look, I mean, even the chair's been set fire to. Yeah. I just don't, I don't get idiots. it. Okay. What's next? Just We'll just check out the church. Now this was the reason why this town was relocated here, because of the church. So yeah, this is the church. Now, the town moved here in 1907, like I said. I don't know whether or not this is the original 1907 church. Right. Couldn't find out anything else about it. But again, locked up tight because of... Vandalism. Vandalism. Yeah, I need to see somebody has still has tried to break in. Uh, I don't get people. Anyway, so yes, but... That's it. I do have a fun fact about this place. Okay. So, firstly, this used to be a prehistoric Native American camp, and the town was named after a Comanche chief, Sanico. Hmm. True story. Look at the state of some of these headstones. You can tell they're old. Yeah, the first headstone dates back to 1847, which was when this actually was a town. So 29 families came over from France and established this settlement. Uh, the oldest gravestone was a, that of a child in 1847. Um, and then the town, the railroad bypassed the town and of course, in the 1900s, and everybody up and left. Yeah. Railroad was so significant to these small towns. I mean, some of these you can barely even read them anymore. A lot of weathering. Joseph. Oh, 18, here we go. Settler in 1846. Joseph Rudinger and his wife. Marie? Huh. And this one. Oh, here we are. She was 18. The first death upon arrival of the settlers. May 25th, 1847. Carrying smaller children over stream, she became ill and died on the above date. Her father and mother are also buried here. Joseph and Maggie Knee Brown. So 1847, that's the oldest grave. That one says 1846 though. Yeah. Anyway, they ended up building this church in, eight, in the 1860s. I mean, it's beautiful. It is amazing, the, the architecture, the windows. I love that look. And you think all of this was done by hand, just using handheld tools. Yeah. And you can actually see the chisel marks. So this is sandstone, limestone and timber. Now, I don't know whether well, they would have had to have quarried the, the rocks. Yeah. 
and then shaped them. Oh, isn't that amazing? I mean, look at the yeah, arches. I love the how it peaks up to like the diamond arch and that cornerstone. Or not? That's not a cornerstone. That's a uh, a peak. <laughs> there's a name for it, and it's gonna I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> but that's the integral part of it. I just, to, again, this is another spot where it looks like medieval architecture. Mm -hmm. And I love that look. Unfortunately, a fire destroyed the inside, I think in around 1910. Yeah. The town was already deserted by then. But you can see nature has just absolutely taken over inside. So there used to be a schoolhouse here and a post office back in the day. Yeah. But this is uh, really amazing. It's amazing that you can still see all the chisel marks. I know. Look. That's, yeah, and there's so many of them, just a little chip, 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 chip. Huh? Well, shall we try to walk around the front side? Yeah, you can see some timber in there as well. You can also see the metal that's holding it together. Yeah. Would have been nice to see the uh, the inside. Well, before the fire. Yeah. Oh, look, at this angle, you can actually see it's bowing. Oh, yeah. The front's kind of, now all the internal supports are gone, it's going to start probably just caving in. And that's where you've got the timber window. And I guess this would have been the main entrance. Yeah, this would be the main entrance here. D-O-M. I think that means Department of Ministries. If my memory serves me correctly, that means Dio Optimo Maximo, to God the best and greatest. Oh, interesting. Yeah, true story. <laughs> So this is the Royal Suite and Inn. Pretty amazing, eh? Did you know this was built in 1926 in a Spanish eclectic style and it had cast stone detailing? Yeah, and as you can see here, it was constructed in a U-shape because you can see the remnants of these palm trees. Apparently, it also had fish ponds. Plus, it contained a bank, cafe, shops, and even offices. Apparently, it used to be called the Camino Real Hotel, which translated is Royal Road, and that was because the old Spanish road, which ran from Mexico to Louisiana, came right through here. Now I have read it closed in the 50s and was left totally abandoned and wasn't reopened till um, 1997, which was the first time since the Cold War. However, I've also read that it was open in the late 70s, 1970s, so there's lots of conflicting information online. Also, apparently inside there were 20 guest rooms with four apartments and plus the cafe but it caught fire mysteriously in 2020. But they say nobody was inside. But I would have loved to have seen it, how it was when it was first built, wouldn't you? 